Hey everyone, it's Aaron. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dark themed horizontal slider. And there's a kind of a lot of ground to cover, so I'm going to be going pretty quick. And, you know, as you need to see the layer styles I put in, things like that, you can just pause the movie to get what you need and then, and then keep going. Starting out with a blank document that's 640 by 480 it can be really whatever size you want. Uh, I I get a lot of questions about the dark backgrounds that I use, and so in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how I do those. Uh, first, it's just a select all, and then make sure your default colors are are black and white. Do Control delete to fill it with black. Um, actually, you, you could fill it with either color because we're going to be doing styles to it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but you can't just do a standard fill layer because it needs to be the exact size of the document for the effects to work. Deselect that. I'm going to turn off my grid. Now I'm going to go in here and do a gradient overlay. Set it to radial. Set the angle so that it gets a little bigger and then increase the size a little bit as well. Okay, a lot. Um, and then I'm going to change the colors of my gradient. The inner color is going to be lighter. I'm going to do black 15. And then for the outer color, I'm going to do Brightness, I'm sorry, I said black before. Brightness, 5. So there's my gradient. Now, my version of Photoshop has dither, which I want to turn on. If you don't have dither, um, the next step where I add noise should take care of any banding that you see. Um, but if you have dither in your version of Photoshop, that's you know going to help a lot. Next, I'm going to do an inner glow. I'm going to crank the size up all the way. I'm going to crank the noise up all the way. Uh, as you can see, my 640 by 480, my noise is not quite reaching the middle, but uh, we're just going to we're going to live with that. Um, if you do bigger bigger pages, there's other ways to add the noise. I'm just doing this so that it can be a one layer style. So set that to white. Set the opacity to 2%. Set the mode to just normal. And now you've got this nice sort of gradient background with noise in it. And that's what I'm going to use as my starting point. So next I'm going to do the slot part of the slider. I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool to do that. Make sure I have a line edges checked. My radius needs to be just any number that is bigger than the height of my slider and the height of my slider or the slot is probably going to be no more than eight or something like that. So 10 is probably fine. I always feel better with just a much bigger number just so I know I'm not going to have any problems. So I'm going to drag out my slider slot here, give it a meaningful name going to name it slot empty because we will be doing a filled version as well. I'm going to center it. And now I'm going to start applying some, some styles to it. First I'm going to do a color overlay. Don't want red. <laughs> I want a very sort of dark gray. Um, this is probably okay. Might need to go a little darker. We'll see in a second here. I'm going to add an inner shadow. Uh, uncheck global light. And I'm going to be putting everything at 90 for this tutorial. Um, the reason I don't use global light in a case like this is because sometimes I want different angles 
where the lighting is come from coming from depending on what I'm doing so I always uncheck that and put the values in individually I'm gonna crank the distance down its head and crank the size down a little bit maybe I'll maybe four and four looks pretty good um, and I'm also going to darken up my color overlay a little bit so I get a darker slot there so now I have a nice colored you know dark area where I can still see my drop shadow in reality if this were a real slider you'd probably see nothing but blackness in there but because we're going for an effect and you know sometimes to achieve realism in Photoshop you've got to make some stuff look fake to sort of trick people's eyes because if they're looking at the real thing they know they're looking at the real thing so they're not paying too much attention to what lighting is doing but if they're looking at a graphic then they're gonna know that they're not looking at the real thing so you've got to do some things to sort of convince their eyes that they're looking at something very real uh, in appearance so last I'm gonna add a drop shadow and here I'm using the drop shadow actually as a highlight set that to 90 again make it white set the blend mode to normal set the distance to 1 the size to zero and bring my opacity way down probably like 20 something maybe even a little less so now I have a little bit of light reflecting off the bottom edge of that slot so I'm satisfied with that there's my slider slot next I'm gonna make the handle or knob so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.